Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. I'm Sparkasan and this is Daily Rambles. Today we're doing season 3, episode 9 of Supergirl called Rain. So we start off with Rain with, I don't say I'm having a nightmare. And she doesn't remember anything from the past couple of days. And uh, when Ruby asked her like, how's her trip, she said, what trip? I've been on a trip. <laughs> and so she just doesn't remember. And then we cut to where Monel tells them about the 31st century and how it is there and the conflict and how he created the legion of superheroes. And he needs help to get home because the ship is badly damaged. And then Carr invites him to have a holiday party at her apartment. They decline so they can do repairs on the ship. So we cut to the holiday party where Lena and James flirt. And Sam comes in and Sam and Lena talk about James. And then Carr also jumps in about James and saying how she has a mad crush on him. And she kind of um, is like, no, I don't. And then uh, some DE stuff, uh, DEO stuff happened. And this is a weird symbol. And then the hollow mom explains it, um, basically saying it's, it's like a, basically it's like a calling card for something for another um, older tribe of Kryptonians at, from where Kryptonians started, where life began on the planet, basically. And then, um, but it doesn't really help because she, she can't really explain anything because most of the records were destroyed. So then Kaiko's trying to get information and Lena thinks it's Edge and so they go talk to Edge and he's just being a certified douchebag about it. <laughs> then Kara and Wen, but he doesn't have any information. So Kara and Wen talk to Monel and his wife, which I don't remember her name. I remember in the next video. And then it gets super awkward. And then Kara got a call from the weirdo in jail. And he divide, um, he divulged more information about Rain and everything about it because he talked to his priestess that was disemboweled that was on Fort Ross that he talked to on his travels for two years. So he, told, he tells her about the prophecy and all of a sudden it's going to happen. Then Sam's daughter is mad at her because she's working on Christmas Eve and they thought they were going to have time together. But, um, Sam calms her down and then just explains the way things are and tells her about the best Christmas they had was at a tr truck stop in their car. And um, gives her a gift as a Superwoman uh, necklace. <clears throat> and then Kara and um, the wife talk and is trying to tell her like he didn't get over you until years and years later when he figured out he couldn't get home. And that's when he met me and that whole thing. And Kara's just not having it. But like she, she, you know, she understands and you know wants to say thank you, but she's just kind of like torn up inside, so she can't really, done, you know, say what she's feeling. She's trying to come in, she's trying to trying to come, she's trying to stuff her emotions down and save it for later. I can't say the word. I'm not going to try right now. And so then, um, Lena and James uh, get attacked by someone, and they also see a symbol on an old drum or. Like a silo type thing, but James managed to knock the person out with his shield. And then we cut to our um, a drug deal gone bad, and basically Sam slash Rain did it and like took out everybody. And then we have Kara and Monel talk, and she, again she's basically telling him just back off, just leave me alone, let's just move on. It's a crap situation, let's just move beyond it and just go our own ways, basically. Then Edge calls Lena all concerned about everything. <laughs> and then um, Sam comes into the office and um, sees Edge making about to make a press conference and stuff. And so she goes after him but hides in a lead-covered panic room. And so he's um, about to do a press conference. Then Supergirl decides to call out Rain by doing her signal on top of a building. And then we cut to where he's doing the, the press conference. He's trying to kind of blame Supergirl. He's not saying, I can't say it wasn't her. So they're trying to make it to the conclusion that it was her trying to attack Edge. Then Lena and James flirt slash kiss. And then Monel and Wife were training. 
And then um, Dio gets a call that Rain is at the site where Supergirl left her signal. So it's Rain versus Supergirl. And it's an office Christmas party. And it's like a great fight scene. And you have um, Christmas all playing in the background, which is kind of funny to me where they're fighting. But um, I really love the fight scenes in this. I thought it was well coordinated. I thoroughly enjoyed it. And then, uh, basically, Rain kicks her ass, like, so bad. <laughs> and basically drops her off a building, and she's into, like, a like, crater. And she's, like, in surgery. They're trying to stabilize her and everything. And then have Kristen's day, where Ruby goes downstairs. And she's in for a little surprise. <laughs> and that's the end of the video. Um, I thought it was a really good episode. I'll give this a plus, because um, it's, like... Sam is not aware of what she's doing, and basically Rain is it's kind of like a split personality where Rain is a separate person from her. But um, I'll be very interested to see what's going to be happening on, and this is the last episode of the year, and we'll come back until January 15th. So we got to wait a little while. <laughs> so uh, what I'll probably what I'll do is I'll probably do, I've been rewatching the series, so um, I already have seasons one already done. I just got to record them and upload them and all that stuff. So I'll probably do recaps and everything. So um, if y'all want to see that, please let me know down in the comments section down below. And then like, comment, and subscribe. Because that'll be awesome. I'll see y'all in my next video. I want y'all to have a super awesome day or night or when you're watching this. Have an awesome one. Bye.